A spiritual awakening process is a process of shedding the layers of conditioning, beliefs and identities that have obscured your true nature. It's a journey of self-discovery where you begin to question the very foundation of your existence and seek a deeper understanding of who you truly are. This process can be both exhilarating and unsettling as it challenges the very fabric of your reality and forces you to confront aspects of yourself that you may have been avoiding or ignoring. Let me walk you through the seven steps of spiritual awakening, each of which will bring you closer to your own self and the universe. Stage one, the call to awaken. The first stage of spiritual awakening often begins with a sense of disillusionment or dissatisfaction with your current way of life. You may feel like something is missing, like you're living on autopilot, or like there must be more to life than what you've been experiencing. This feeling can manifest as a deep longing, a restlessness, or even a bout of depression or anxiety. During this stage, you may start questioning the beliefs, values, and assumptions that have shaped your reality up until this point. You may begin to question the societal norms, religious teachings, or cultural conditioning that you've been exposed to and find yourself seeking a deeper truth or understanding of the world. This stage can be unsettling, as it challenges the very foundation of your identity and the way you've been living your life. However, it's important to embrace this discomfort, as it's a sign that you're ready to shed the layers of illusion and embark on a journey of self-discovery. Stage two, the dark night of the soul. The second stage of spiritual awakening is often referred to as the dark night of the soul. This is a period of intense inner turmoil where you may experience feelings of depression, anxiety, or even a sense of existential crisis. Everything you once believed in may seem to crumble around you, leaving you feeling lost, confused, and uncertain about your place in the world. During this stage, you may go through a process of ego death, where you let go of the identities, beliefs, and patterns that have defined your life up until this point. This can be an incredibly challenging and painful experience, as it forces you to confront parts of yourself that you may have been avoiding or suppressing. While this stage can be incredibly difficult, it's important to remember that it's a necessary part of the journey. It's during this period of darkness and uncertainty that the seeds of transformation are planted and you begin to clear the way for a new, more authentic way of being to emerge. Stage three, the exploration phase. After the intense inner turmoil of the dark night of the soul, you'll likely enter a period of exploration and experimentation. This is a time when you may feel a sense of curiosity and openness to new ideas, beliefs, and ways of living. You may find yourself drawn to different spiritual practices, philosophies, or forms of self-expression. During this stage, you may try on different identities or beliefs, exploring what resonates with you and what doesn't. You may experiment with different forms of meditation, yoga or other spiritual practices, or you may become interested in fields like astrology, numerology or energy healing. This is a time of discovery and growth, where you're actively seeking out new perspectives and ways of being. It's important to approach this stage with an open mind and a willingness to try new things, as this exploration will help you uncover the path that feels most authentic and aligned with your true nature. Stage four, the integration phase. After a period of exploration and experimentation, you'll likely enter a phase of integration where you begin to synthesize the various insights, practices, and beliefs that resonate with you into a cohesive worldview or way of being. This is a time when you start to develop a deeper understanding of yourself and your place in the world. During this stage, you may find yourself creating new routines, rituals, or practices that help you stay grounded and connected to your spiritual path. You may also begin to make changes in your life that reflect your newfound understanding and values, such as changing careers, ending unhealthy relationships, or adopting a new lifestyle. The integration phase is about bringing together the pieces of your spiritual journey into a cohesive whole. It's about finding a way to integrate your spiritual beliefs and practices into your daily life in a way that feels authentic and sustainable. Stage five, the awakening. The fifth stage of spiritual awakening is often referred to as the awakening or the enlightenment phase. This is a period where you begin to experience a deep sense of inner peace, clarity, 
and connection to the world around you. You may feel a sense of profound love, compassion and understanding for yourself and others. During this stage, you may experience moments of intense presence and awareness, where you feel deeply connected to the present moment and the world around you. You may also have experiences of transcendence or unity, where you feel a sense of oneness with all that is. While this stage can be incredibly beautiful and rewarding, it's important to remember that it's not a destination or a final state. The awakening phase is simply a glimpse of the true nature of reality and a taste of the profound peace and joy that comes from living in alignment with your true self. Stage 6. The Willing to Give Up and Accept In this phase, you surrender to the divine flow of life, letting go of any remaining attachments or patterns that no longer serve your highest self. Trust that you are always supported and guided by the universe, even when the path ahead seems uncertain. This is a time of grounding your spiritual insights into practical, sustainable ways of being. During this stage, you may find yourself making further changes to your life to better align with your spiritual values and beliefs. You may also begin to share your insights and experiences with others, acting as a guide or mentor for those who are just beginning their own spiritual journeys. This phase is about finding a way to live your spiritual truth in a way that is sustainable and fulfilling. It's about creating a life that reflects your deepest values and allows you to live in alignment with your true nature. During this phase, you may find yourself drawn to share your experiences and wisdom with others, whether through teaching, writing, or simply by living as an example of your spiritual principles. This sharing can be a powerful catalyst for both your own growth and the growth of those around you. By stepping into the role of a guide or mentor, you not only deepen your own understanding, but also contribute to the collective expansion of consciousness. The integration phase is a continual dance between your inner spiritual journey and your outer expression in the world, a constant process of refinement and realignment as you navigate the ever-changing landscape of your spiritual evolution. Stage 7. The Service Phase The final stage of spiritual awakening is often referred to as the service phase. During this stage, you may feel a deep sense of purpose and a desire to share your wisdom and insights with others. You may feel called to serve as a teacher, healer or guide, helping others navigate their own spiritual journeys. During this stage, you may find yourself engaging in acts of service or creating projects or initiatives that are aimed at making a positive impact on the world. You may feel a deep sense of connection to humanity and a desire to contribute to the greater good. The service phase is about sharing the gifts and insights that you've gained through your spiritual journey with others. It's about using your wisdom and understanding to help uplift and inspire others and to create a more compassionate and connected world. It is a deep and life-changing journey to become spiritually awake. It can change your life in ways you never thought possible. Even though the road can be hard at times, each step helps you learn more about who you are and where you fit in the world. Accept the problems as chances to grow, and have faith that the process is going exactly as it should. Remember that you are not the only one going through this. Many people have been through this before you, and many more will come after you. You will continue to grow your link to the divine both inside and outside of you by staying open, curious, and kind to yourself and others. In the end, spiritual awakening isn't about getting to a certain place, it's about living each day with all thanks and genuine presence. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.